Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to open up some Bowman. This is the Bowman I purchased uh, last week. I've been sitting on it for about four or five days. Been itching to get into it, but it's been busy with other projects. So I got two blasters. I got two of the regular value packs. Don't really know how much of this I'll be able to get through. Don't want to make this video too long, but I do want to get a chance to open up some more Bowman. I'm still looking for Bobby Wood Jr. I haven't pulled a single card of his, and I've opened, I want to say, four, five blasters now, and no Bobby Witt Jr. So he's going to be my number one target, and we will see if I can break my curse of not getting any Bobby Witt uh, Jr. in any of my packs. So I'll kind of go through the base cards pretty quickly. There's Vladdy, rookie of Gratterall, who's now with um, the Dodgers, Zach Collins. Okay, we got a Ronaldo Hernandez spanning the globe. That's a new one from Colombia. And we've got Alex Kirilov, highly rated outfield prospect. Some people think he might play first base, first base or outfield for the Twins. Christian Rob or Glenn Allen Hill Jr., not his first woman. There's the J.J. Blade. And look, here we go, guys. First pack right off the bat. I'm going to set this down really quickly and get out my sleeves. Now, it's just the Bowman paper card, so it's obviously not the uh, most valuable of all the Bobby Wood Jr. cards, but, man, that's a pretty cool one. Looks like it's off-center a little bit, but I don't care. That's the first Bobby Wood Jr. I've pulled out of Bowman this year, and you know what? I need to make a little stack here. I'll do that after I finish the rest of the first pack. Nolan Jones pulled out his numbered card out of Bowman in my last opening. We've got Cal Mitchell, and then our Chrome cards, we hit Ethan Hankins, uh, Jonathan India, First Bowman Chrome of Wilfred Astadio, and then Isaac Paredes with Jose Urania hanging out there at the back. So uh, give me one second. I'm going to make some stacks here. We'll put Bowman Chromes right here in this stack. We'll put the base cards, and then I apologize. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'll put the base cards um, up here. I'll put my kind of showcase cards there at the top, and we'll just kind of put these... Um, regular 1 through 100 cards off to the side. So inserts will go over here on the left, and there we have it, guys. So highlights of the first pack. Bobby Witt Jr., awesome. J.J. Bleday, I kind of glossed over him. He's actually very good as well. But definitely the Bobby Witt Jr. was the best card, especially for me, uh, in the first pack. So let's go ahead and go into pack number two, and we'll see how we do. Looks like we got a couple inserts here at the top. No colored cards. Got that Urania again, back-to-back -back Jose Uranias. He's the guy that was throwing at, well, this, is, this is like the same exact collation of cards, um, throwing at Ronald Acuna there a couple years ago. Had all those brawls. We got a Bowman Chrome Talent Pipeline of Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz, Cabrian Hayes, and Cal Mitchell. That's a pretty cool one. And then Dustin May. Rookie of the Year favorites. We'll put those over here in our insert set. Hit the J.J. Blade again. Maybe I'll get the Witt Jr. since I had J.J. Blade in my last pack and had Bobby Witt right after him. And it is. Nice. Two packs, two Bobby Witts. I don't think I pulled these packs like back to back. Like Usually I try to take, you know, packs that are not right next to each other just so this type of thing doesn't happen. Uh, but in this instance, it is like almost identical packs. Uh, this one's even kind of off-centered the same way the last one was. And look at this. So we're getting the same exact cards when it comes to these paper cards. There's Nolan Jones. Okay, Force Whitley is a new one. Montero. Cal Mitchell. I believe that's the same one. Now, Chrome. Looks like we got a different story. We got Elliot Ramos for the Giants. Got this card already. I like him. Leo Di Tavares. Pretty highly rated prospect for Texas. We got Astadio again. Man, if this could have been uh, an Isaac Paredes. That was kind of... Uh, interesting to get almost the same exact cards in back-to-back -back packs. But I'm two packs in, and I've got two Bobby Witt Juniors, both papers, but I cannot complain. That's two more than I had, because like I said, I had opened, man, I want to say, well, five blasters, and then two packs, two or three of these uh, value packs already, and I hadn't seen a single Bobby Witt, which is kind of disappointing. So I'm trying to get into this blaster box, and I should have pre-cut it. And of course, I didn't, like an idiot, so I'm having a hard time getting in here. Let me go over here and grab... Well, you know what? I think I can get into it. Give me one second. In fact, you know what? Let me pause... Well, no, I'll just go ahead and do it. There, we finally got it. I was going to pause the video, but here I got it. 
Should have brought some scissors or pre-cut it to get the shrink wrap out of the way, but I was not prepared. Okay, so we've got the blasters. We'll go ahead and rip into it. If you've watched my videos before, you kind of know how it works. About half the cards will be the base cards, the 1 through 100 cards. And then we should get two of the Bowman Chrome cards in each pack. We have six packs, so that's a total of 12 Bowman Chromes. Um, I'll be happy with four inserts out of these six packs. And then I'm really looking for two to three numbered cards, parallels, um, autographs. Two to three would be amazing. Um, one would be kind of the minimum I'd be happy with. So we don't have any color in here. We'll go ahead and get these to the front. We'll go pretty quickly through these base cards. Seth Brown, Shane Bieber, Cody Bellinger is a good one. Nick Solak. Sorry, get him on camera there. Mauricio Dubon and Michael Bass. Those are all the base cards. We'll have a nice stack of those by the time we're done. Ricky, do your favorite. Sean Murphy, the catching prospect or catcher for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, so we got the one insert in here. We got Shay Langoliers. He had been a pretty good through the mail autograph guy. I may try to send this to him. In fact, I probably will. I've been waiting to get one of his cards. I didn't get one of his cards last year. Tanner Houck from the University of Missouri. And uh, I think he's in AAA with the Red Sox right now. And Clark Schmidt, who's the top rated pitching prospect for the New York Yankees. So that was a pretty good one. No first Bowmans, but I got some pretty good players. Let's try pack number two. Pack number two. Whoop, oh, as my pack hits the ground. Uh, give it a quick glance. Looks like we got an insert again. No color. So we'll kind of do the same thing. We hit Jeff McNeil, who hit like what? 330 last year. There's a Tatis. I don't think I have that Tatis. Eh, maybe I do. Blake Snell. Demerit Means, who's an all-star, as was Dan Vogelbach last year. Okay, our insert. We're two for two on inserts. Texas Rangers, Leody Tavares in double-A. Andy Ibanez in triple-A. Don't know a lot about him. Sam Huff, catching prospect in single-A. He's probably the hottest name out of those three. Our prospect cards, we hit Amaya. Sam Huff, there he is right there, the man I was talking about. Uh, came up and kind of took people by storm last year. Uh, hit something like 20 home runs in the minors. And then Josh Young. I always used to call him Josh Jung, but I believe it's Josh Young. It's our three insert card, or not insert, but prospect cards. We had Grayson Rodriguez and Matt Manning. So once again, no first Bowman cards. So we're 0 for 4 as far as getting first Bowmans. But those are still some good players. Matt Manning is going to be very good. Man, the Detroit pitching staff between Scoogle and... Casey Mize and Matt Manning, whew, look out. They could be tough in the future. All right, I don't see an insert in this one, but I also don't see a numbered card or a colored parallel, so we're 0 for 3. I was hoping to have a little more success on that. There's a Luis Robert. That's a pretty good one. I'll uh, set that off to the side and sleeve him up by Bobby Witt here in a second. Um, oh, we've got one backwards. This should be an autograph, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and save this one for the end. Let's go ahead and get our chromes out of the way. Bryce Terrain, Speedster, and then another Milwaukee Brewers prospect, Nick Bennett. So we got two Milwaukee players and our first book, excuse me, our first first Bowman card. We've got Evan White out of Kentucky. We've got Tanner Houck again for Boston and Adley Rutschman. That's actually a very nice one, the number one overall pick from a couple years ago. Here is our autograph. Nice. Cole Staub or Stabby. Sorry, I do not know how to pronounce his name. First time I've heard of him. Uh, that's a nice little card. On card auto. Obviously the sticker auto, but that's a pretty good one. Let's turn it over and see if I can find some information about him. About him. He was a third round pick in 2016. Um, 15 homers, 34 RBIs in 108 games. It's not a very big ratio of homers to RBIs. Only hit 213 last year. Um, that's an interesting one. All right, I'm going to have to look up some information on him. I'm going to get that sleeved up as long as well as the Luis Roberts. So we did hit an autograph. It was a paper autograph, but that's still pretty good. Not numbered, but still, anytime you get an autograph out of retail, I feel like you're doing a pretty good job. So this pack has come through when the in the autograph department, or this blaster box. We've got three packs left. We're halfway through. I'd still like to see a colored parallel card serial numbered card here, even just a refractor. Uh, I haven't really hit very many refractors this year. Uh, looks like we got an insert. We, is that, that's gotta be the same card, right? Look at that, that arm. Looks like one's the paper card and one's the chrome card. Not sure who it is, it's not Dominguez, but uh, we'll see who that is here in a second. Oh, do we, why is this one backwards? This is an Eduardo Escobar. Um, 
Why is he backwards? That was strange. Okay, Eduardo Escobar, who just happened to be backwards. Then we got Jordan Groschans, very good prospect for the Toronto Blue Jays, who are just seemingly loaded with infielders. Antonio Cabello, Zach Brown. Here it is, Marco Luciano. He is a very highly rated prospect in the San, uh, San Francisco organization. And look, we got his Chrome and his paper card back to back. I believe his first Bowman card was last year, but that's still a really good one. And then an upside down, Cody Hose, Hose or Hosey. Not really sure how to say his name either. Okay, Luciano's a good one. Not gonna sleeve him up now, but I may do that after the video is over. So we've got two Lucianos on screen right now. Okay, we're pack number five. We've got one of the Bowman uh, 1990 throwback inserts I can see. After we get through these base cards, Willa Calhoun, hopefully he is recovered from his injury. Ooh, there's a good one. Off center, top to bottom, but still, this kid is very, very young and has very, very high potential. Julio Rodriguez, between him and Jared Kelenic, there's a lot of people in Seattle who are looking forward to their chance to play together in the outfield for the Mariners here in a couple of years. Probably not this year, maybe not even next year, but uh, those guys have... A, Tons of talent. All right, we've got our paper cards out of the way. Zach Thompson, pitching prospect for the Cardinals, and Will Wilson. So, man, this pat or this blaster has been a little bit light on the first Bowman Chromes, and we haven't actually seen any of the big names, have we? Those two Bobby Wicks were both in the in the uh, retail pack or in the value pack right at the beginning. And look at this—we are not going to hit a single numbered card or colored card in here. So it looks like the autograph was kind of the only hit. Just a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping for better luck. I had a little bit better luck when I, there's my trout, um, open up those first blasters that I found. Nick Madrigal's a nice one. Oh, there was no insert in this one, sorry. Let me go ahead and switch this over. Max Muncy was my last base card. Here's our prospect cards, Kirloff and Astadio. Oh, yes. This is, man, I came out of the gates looking for Bobby Witt, and look at this. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, there is definitely a print line going across right here. Kind of see it kind of cuts right into the sleeve, right to about to his elbow. Um, I can see it. I don't know how easy it is to pick up on camera, but that's the first, first Bowman Chrome I have of Bobby Witt Jr., and then Taylor Trammell is actually a very good one as well. Not his first Bowman card, so I'm not going to sleeve that one up, but look at this, guys. I've had three packs. I say three packs. I've opened one blaster and two packs, and I've already hit three Bobby Witts, and that is the main guy I was after. I mean, obviously, Dominguez and Poisson and the guys like that, I'm not going to turn them down, but I had no Bobby Witt cards coming into this, and I've already got three, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, I'm going to try to get into this last blaster once again. I was a world-class moron and did not bring any type of scissors, and of course, I cut my fingernails, so they are not going to be that helpful either but I will try my best to get this thing open so we can proceed with the pack opening it's gonna be pretty embarrassing to have two of these blasters I'm having a hard time getting into but there you go I finally got it okay so we got in there we're gonna open this one up this will be it hopefully I can keep this to about 17 18 minutes I know you guys have a lot of things you want to do, and you're probably watching me open packs for 20 minutes. It may not be high on your list, so if you need to go, that is okay, or fast forward. I do not blame you in the slightest. Okay, I'm going to take these packs and just kind of throw them on the floor for now. We got our six packs. This will be the last blaster and the last cards of this opening. All right, I'm, I really want to get at least two numbered cards. Um, the autograph was nice in the last pack, but those colored cards just really shine. I just really, really have an affinity towards those. Okay, here we go. If we do find one, I'll save it for the end, too, because who knows how many we'll have. Don't have any numbered cards in this one, either. Okay, we'll go pretty quickly through the base. Reese Hoskins, don't think we've seen him yet. Sheldon Noyce. There's Trout again. Anytime you get Trout, it's a good pack. That's what I always say. We got a Rookie of the Year favorite, Adbert Alzale for the Chicago Cubs. Got a couple Cubs supporters, some of my biggest supporters, David M. and Vintage Card Steve. Some of my biggest supporters out there. I know they're big Cub fans. All right, our first Bowmans, or not first Bowmans, there's the Bowman Chromes, Jacob Amaya for the Dodgers, and Christian Javier, pitching prospect for the Astros. So that one's not too bad. I think Amaya's okay. I don't know a lot about him. It seems like there's 
a few Dodger guys who are pretty good who have first Bowman cards in here. Pack number two, still no, still no colored cards, no refractors. Aaron Judge, I don't think I have this card yet. Aaron, card number two, I'm missing card number two and card number four. And I believe Aaron Judge is one of them that I was missing. He is card number two. No insert in this pack. We got Kirilov, Vargas, Austin Beck, and for our Bowman Chromes, Reese Hines and Zach Brown again. I think I had his earlier. That pack that had the two. Uh, actually, you know what? I think that was a different Milwaukee Brewer prospect. All right, guys, we're on a cold streak here. See if we can heat it up a little. In this pack, no insert, just regular Bowman Chrome. Okay. I'm wondering if I've completely whiffed on the parallels and on the numbered cards here. Um, there's Soroka and Robel Garcia. It's the last of the base. And then for the prospects, Riley Green is a very good prospect. Gerard Encarnacion. Davey Garcia. And then Travis Swaggerty, who was a first-round pick of the Pittsburgh Pirates a couple years ago. And J.J. Bleday. That's a nice one. A lot of people are really high on J.J. Bleday. Uh, his first Bowman Chrome card was in Bowman Draft from last year. Which I don't believe I have that one. In fact, I know I don't. He and Riley Green it was kind of a hot ticket item last year. Uh, once again, man, we are struggling to pull the parallels in this opening. Okay, got a couple infielders there. There's Yelich, card number 100. Anthony Kay and Abraham Toro round out the base. Got a nice little stack of base going on here. We got top 100, Scouts top 100, AJ Puck. Ricky card insignia on that one. That's pretty cool. There's Poisson. I believe I said that right, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve his up right now. Before I forget, I don't think I have his base card. I know I have a couple of his Chrome cards, or at least one of his Chrome cards. We'll put Pawson right there. We have not seen Dominguez in this yet either. Would be nice to get one of his cards, but I can't complain after the one I already have. The two I already have, actually. Uh, then for the Chrome cards, we have Aradmus, Aramis Adaman and uh, Ethan Hankins. So. No first Bowman Chromes there. We're down to two packs, guys. Coming up on about 17 and a half minutes. Try to get this under 20 so you all can get on with your day. Once again, no color in these. Man, those first blasters I opened must have been must have been straight fire. Maybe they put the better cards in the first the first releases, because I was getting like two to three colored cards in each of the three bla or two blasters I opened at the beginning. That one's very off-center, but it is a nice Christian Yelich. It's insert card. There's a lot of those Bowman, 1990 Bowman cards that are very off-centered. We got Hines, Nova, and Allen. And then Jonathan India with Royce Lewis, who was the MVP of the Arizona Fall League last year. So we're down to the final pack, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do uh, like my content, you can leave a little like and subscribe and make a comment if you want. And that's okay if you got other stuff going on as well. All right, we're down to the last one. No colored cards, parallels, refractors in any of this. Holy cow. That was not what I was looking for. All right, we'll go ahead and finish this up here. There's Escobar's card. He was not backwards, by the way, in this. Bryce Terrain. Isaac Paredes. We've seen him two or three times already now. Cabrian Hayes. We've got Alec Bohm, one of the top prospects for the Phillies. And the last card is a nice one to finish off with. Byron Laura who is a very good prospect in the Texas organization. Very young. Uh, he was the number three international prospect last year. Uh, Poisson was number two, Dominguez was number one, and he was number three. So there you have it, guys. I'll give you a quick overview, and then I'll get you on your way. We got a decent stack of base cards and prospect cards and chrome cards. Probably the best cards that I hit were right there, the Bobby Witt Jr. and the Baron Laura card at the very end. I did get the one auto card. This is the only numbered card, or, or excuse me, autograph card. I didn't get any parallels, any numbered cards, which was definitely a bit of a bummer. Hit the three Bobby Witts, and then the Poisson and Luis Robert as well. Don't forget Julio Rodriguez. Don't sleep on him because he's going to be a good one as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you can start to find some of this in your area, and it's not all sold out by now, but uh, thank you for your support, and I will catch you guys in another one. See ya.